Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. My dog, Yucca and Rio, are back in the truck. Uh, Lori is at work doing a stocking, and I'm just walking downtown to get some exercise. Uh, I like to get a big, long walk-in, get my cardio up, and it gets things moving forward, my thoughts and, and actions. I want you to know when people are, are passing... Uh, you know, lies or telling certain things about you that are untrue. You don't have to react to those things. You just got to like, uh, let them go by like Tai Chi. Like when, instead of blocking the opponent, you just let them fly by with their energy. And that fly by night energy is obvious to other people, uh, where you're steady and grounded and other people are all over the map uh, just stay the course and uh you know like survivor it's kind of like outwit outlast outplay so even if you lose a million dollars you still were an adversary an opponent um but always you know coming with love in your heart love for others understanding for others there's a Missoula Skateboard Park, I'm just walking down Orange Street by the river. It's like, I believe a Catholic church over there, across in the distance. The Stockman Bank is the green one. And then it goes uptown, crossing the Clark Fork River, and the river's pretty frozen. Uh, definitely not something you'd want to kayak or paddleboard right now. Um... I saw the Bitterroot River has an open channel and seems like it would be manageable. But temperatures lately, you would definitely need a dry suit and you need all the proper equipment in order to go paddling. I also worry about ice dams or ice chunks in the river that are too big to deal with. So it's pretty wise to just stay off the river until springtime. However, a couple years ago, Bill Heckel and I, uh, Christian Morin and I paddled several rivers during the midwinter in Montana. Actually, a day like today, we were out on the water and then it started snowing. Pretty gnarly. Anyway, this very historic bridges in Missoula, these have been up for for many, many years, and they've been retrofitted several times. They've done major construction on the bridge across the way, and they're getting ready to develop uh, Karis Park into a, a major entertainment center. Uh, amphitheater tripled in size right by Brendan's Wave. So I'm hoping to organize some events, make some stuff happen. I just wanted to show you the ice melt on the river. It's pretty rad. The river's actually as wide as you can see, but that half of the river is all iced over. There's still current going under there. Pretty peaceful. Anyway, divinely guided messages are today is the art of war, Latsu. That, you know, it's better to be a warrior in the garden than it is to be a gardener out on the battlefield. So pick your pick your battles wisely, choose your battles wisely, because uh, you know a lot of people you don't realize are divinely guided and protected. And so when you try to do something wrong to somebody who's a star seed and a healer, uh, it ends up backfiring on you and, and usually pretty bad. So. Um, I just try and keep love in my heart and, you know, be ready for whatever uh, happens, be it positive or negative. And, you know, any type of rejection is God's protection, probably putting you right in the place that you really belong. So just remember that as you're going through life and, and make the decisions based off of path and faith and who's been with, with you through thick and thin. 
and uh, all of those things. Take, take those things into consideration. Anyway, one love everybody, downtown Missoula. Maybe someday I'll be on K E C I TV. Uh, that would be Montana's uh, home for NBC. Anyway, Tricomb Valley, Silverleaf, the dispensaries are open. If uh, And it's recreational in Montana. So if anybody's in the, the industry, it's a good time to get in up here. Um, bring up your, your stuff and show people what you got. Anyway, I hope everything's well. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Peace.